Hey guys, so today I will be telling you guys about my experience for this year's online AP test. So just like context, I am a grade 11 student and I am from the Philippines and this is my first year taking AP subjects. So I'm taking AP Calculus AB and AP English Language and Composition. And those are the two tests I will be taking this year. So honestly, let's start with the AP Calc exam. The AP Calc exam was a roller coaster and I had never before had so much adrenaline in my system. I took the test at 2 a.m. in the morning and let's just say I started panicking during the first question because one, there were nine questions and you need to complete it in 25 minutes and two, I did not know what to do for the first three parts that involved finding critical points, increasing and decreasing intervals and concavity of an integral because normally they'll just give you like an equation or maybe like a graph to find it. So I just skipped those first three parts and just did the other parts and I later came back to the first three parts. So we were allowed to use the internet and I was able to search on how to find the critical points for an integral and thankfully there was an answer. So I was able to finish most of the questions except for one to which I just put my solution in hopes to get at least some credit. So I started uploading my answers when the timer was around 3 minutes and this is the start of my very fast heartbeat. So, um, I pressed the submit button af um, after uploading my answers, but like for two minutes, it was only showing a rotating circle button, which means it's still like uploading. And I started getting scared because my answers will not be able to be submitted. So I quickly like went on to my mobile data and hoped that it actually could submit my answers because no way am I taking the makeup exam. This first exam was already almost like a disaster and I don't want another one. So thankfully, it submitted when the timer hit 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Yeah, so honestly, in that moment, I did not know whether to cry for joy or get angry at myself for submitting my answers at the very last minute. And thankfully, I will learn my lesson later on for the next question and next exam. So in question 2, I had 8 parts and you need to answer it in 15 minutes. And question 2 for me was much easier than question 1 since the problems were more straightforward and I was able to submit my answers when the timer hit 2 minutes. So I'm very thankful that the server cooperated with me since I found out later lots of students taking AP Calc exam had technical issues and most of them have to take the makeup exam. So, I am also thanking my calculator, the TI NSPAR CXCAS, since without it, I would never finish the problems on time since the equations given were tedious in terms of getting the derivative and integral manually, and you will also be wasting a lot of time. Also, I'm taking, thanking the AP Calc Live video since most of the questions they were doing were similar to the test because they also gave like practice exercises and I also had a stack of them beside me during the exam so I can go back and see in case I forget something or I find a similar question to that. Um, now I may have known how to answer the problems but until now I'm still thinking if whether what I actually did in those questions were actually correct or not since for me, if I found find it too easy, then not, if I if I just find it like okay or a bit is easy, I'm gonna get scared because I know that I may have actually made a mistake somewhere. So it's just me overthinking. Okay, so next was the AP English language exam, and I also had it at 2 a.m. in the morning, one week after my AP Calc exam. I honestly just reviewed AP English language in like 3 days before the exam since I burned myself out from reviewing AP Calc to which I spent about 10 hours every day for one week cramming AP Calc. So the prompt given to me in AP English language was written by Feynman 
and it's about like the beauty of science. I read it like three times and I still didn't get the passage that much or when I say I didn't get the passage, I understand what he's saying but I can't find that much rhetorical choices that are very strong and you are able to write a good analysis and commentary about that. It was just very hard to analyze the prompt given only 45 minutes to analyze and to write the essay. So while we like while typing through my essay I felt that my analysis and commentary was like very shallow since it's also very hard to find a lot of evidences of a specific rhetorical choice. I started panicking because of my lack of analysis and commentary and let's just say I sacrificed two minutes of the submission time to just find more evidence and to make my commentary sound a bit better and a bit bit like deeper since the criteria said you have to have a good analysis and commentary and honestly for me now it was worth wasting those two minutes because I was still successfully able to submit my essay but like the problem is after reading the essay after the exam I realized I made two very careless mistakes I forget I forgot to italicize the title of Feynman's book in my intro and I misspelled Feynman's name twice I spelled it as F E Y M A N N instead of F E Y N M A N so let's just say that will be a lot of deductions I am like even after the test or even during the test and until now I'm praying that whoever's reading my essay may you have mercy on me and may you be lenient in checking since I only had 45 minutes to write the essay it was barely enough time to analyze my prompt and I don't even know what I was even writing in the essay so, in the end, I'm expecting my AP Calc to be at least have a higher score than my AP English Language since I honestly didn't even know what I wrote for that essay. And I would be very happy if I could just get a 3 in the AP English Language. I honestly don't care anymore as long as I pass the test. And um, to those taking the makeup exams, I support you. You can do it and um, if you guys ever had the AP online exams comment down below your experience because mine was a roller coaster so I will be seeing you guys in the next video bye